I'm going to take you through a little example. Uh, so this is a campaign that I've worked on with Logitech G, and um, I think it, it really fits for this webinar. So we'll touch on this a, little, a few times amongst some of the other examples. So above, you can sort of see what I would describe as a typical games peripherals uh, piece of ad creative, which is normally a black product flying around in space. Um, well, they decided that if they're going to appeal to Gen Z, they were going to have to build a product for Gen Z, and they did. So they built the color collection, which you're seeing below. The idea was simple. It's just that they have a different aesthetic. They show it in real places, and they're not overly prescriptive about anything. So where this kind of differs, because you'll notice one of those is actually lilac, where this differs from the PlayStation portable example from before is that this is non-prescriptive. They just said, here's a bunch of colors. You want to express yourself? pick the color that you want. And this is across a range of headsets, keyboards, and mice. And then the other key thing for marketing, because obviously all of that had nothing to do with me, that was a product development call. But from a marketing perspective, we decided that instead of messaging all focused around uh, performance, it would probably work better to start talking about aesthetics, self-expression, comfort, customizability. I think here's another thing that we had going for us. <laughs> I love this slide. Um, these are all available to buy right now. I love this. To use a gaming mouse as an example, and obviously it's not like this for everything, but I think it's pretty uh, apt. These are all available. Having something that literally just doesn't look like what everybody else is doing is enough to stand out like crazy. Um, like I was saying before, there's been like a real the mindset has been really focused on this like homogenous idea of the gamer. Um, all you have to do is sort of break free from that. And suddenly you're like competing in a completely different space. So when we actually did this test, just getting back to my example. So when we actually started running ads, uh, we found that compared to some of the ads that we were running traditionally, we had a hundred percent increase in female engagement. And the end, the final result in terms of like, interactions with our ads uh, was, was that it was representative of the population. So it was like half women, half men. Uh, as Jordan was saying before, that's, that's like accurate as to what it's actually supposed to be like. As opposed to before when I think we had about 10% interaction from women compared to 90% men. So just to show, there's nothing better, like first of all, than, than thinking about who you're trying to go for and building them something. <laughs> 